Shalom, 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 Nigerians. I, I want to thank God for the way God has been showing us mercy as a people, as a nation. And I want to thank God for the way God is also exposing and the way God is also helping us to handle some basic issues. But And I want to also thank you for praying for me and the support you have given us. Thousands and thousands, countless millions actually responded to the event that happened to me and my family. And thank you very much. We're all doing very well. And to the glory of God, we're advancing. But I want to say this. Uh, there are certain people in this country that I must, at this particular moment, have kept quiet, we've kept quiet, but I felt the nudging in my spirit that they must be put in their places. And I want to say that Gumi, Gumi, you and, and, and Sheikh Sokoto or whatever your names are, you must, you must, you must begin to take yourself serious. Because you are people that, that are less than human beings, if I will put it that way. You can't in any way begin to confront and challenge certain people and make them feel as if they are less Nigerians than you are. They are less Northerners than you are. I am a Northerner, all right? I am a Kanuri by tribe, but give me by language, okay? You cannot in any way intimidate us. You are a full nation. And, and at this point, I want you to know that houses, the eyes are open. Whether Kanuris or other tribes, our eyes are open. You can't continue to deceive us with, with the downfall your de deception. All right? You have no right for you to intimidate anybody. That why should this person or that person be given an appointment uh, uh, to become the federal capital minister? It's just like Sheikh Sokoto saying, um, uh, uh, if, if Taraba and Nasarawa goes into the hands of Christians, Islam have lost it. What do you mean? What do you mean? Do you mean we're less than you are? Nonsense. You think and you talk like less than a dog. You don't talk like human being. You must put yourself in the right senses and do what is right. Okay? The Nasarawa state belongs to every Nigerian, whether Christian or Muslim. And so the, the judiciary or the justices have done what is right. And I want to say whether it is to the appeal or to the Supreme Court, you judges must do what is right. You must stand for Nigeria and not for religion and not for individuals. And I want to say this to every Nigerian, don't be intimidated with some of these less than dog that are not thinking like human beings. Gumi, I want to say it's enough, it's enough. You have been backing the bandits. I thought you're a wonderful brother. Even when I visited, we sat down together and we shared things together. But I, I didn't know that you are this, 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 this demeaning. It's, 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 it's provoking for you to talk. Ngambama Krista. Ngambama. Ngambama we enamutane. Sarong. Leadership. Na security. Na sarong. Eh? Kaza, 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 kaza. Wane is came in charge of Sarong. For all these years, they have been Muslims. Alright? But what is the state of the North? We are worse. Worse in crime. Worse in banditry. Muslims killing Muslims. What is happening in Sokoto? What is happening in Kasina? Is it is it a southerner who is coming there? Alright? You the Fulanese are killing the indigenous people because you want to claim their land. The truth must be said. Okay? You must be ashamed of yourself. And I want to say this again. Nigerians, don't allow anybody to intimidate you. You got one life. There's one God. We have the God of heaven who created us. He didn't make me to be born in America. He made me to be born here in Nigeria. And so you're not less than any Yoruba. You're not less than any Igbo. You're not less than any Hausa. You're not less than any Fulani. We are equal. We are Nigerians. And so not even a member of your family should intimidate you when it comes to your faith. You should understand that you have the right to worship what you want. It's just like the event that happened in Israel, in Israel recently. People were just celebrating their festival in peaceful. They are even taking care of the people, whether it is in the Palestinian and others. Look at it. Israel. I went to Israel. They allowed the Muslims to worship on their mount, on their table mount. That's where the mosque is. They don't even allow the Jews to worship there. That's to tell you the level of acceptability and the level of liberty in Israel. And then you just come in, just begin to kill innocent life, slaughter innocent life over a thousand three hundred and be shouting, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, who's Allah Akbar? Is that to God or is that to Satan? 
I commend all the Islamic leaders that are coming out this time around to speak against this wicked, rotten mind of men that call themselves Islamic scholars. And I want to say, it's not yesterday, it's today. Our eyes are open to defend our cause. And we are Nigerians. We will fight for the right cause. You tell me even for election, if it repeats itself, Muslim, Muslim ticket, I will not support it till I leave this world for equity and justice sake. But you cannot, at this particular time, begin to incite people and say that certain people don't belong, certain people have no right. When you talk about peace, not no peace. When you talk about unity, not no unity. When you talk about what belongs to an ordinary individual, you take it away. You are the most corrupt, wicked human creatures on earth. Put yourself in order. We will handle you both in the realm of the spirit and in the physical. May God's grace continue to watch over Nigeria and continue to preserve innocent Nigerians and continue to prosper Nigerians. Wicked, you and all your team, all the cabinet members, whatever you are doing, serve Nigeria. Be honest with Nigeria. This government serve the people. CBN serve Nigerians. If they are CC, serve Nigerians. The military serve to protect your country. Air Force serve Nigerians. It's not about any man, but it's about God's plan for Nigeria. May God bless Nigeria, preserve Nigeria, and watch over Nigeria. Assalamu alaikum.